Small donor revolution uh, is a reality. Uh, we're at the very earliest stages uh, of the revolution. Uh, there's a convergence of things that are happening uh, to make it reality. There will be ups and downs uh, in the history uh, of this revolution, uh, just like the American Revolution that preceded it. Uh, but uh, those of us who are privileged to be involved in government and to have been involved in the Obama campaign, now in the Obama administration, have seen firsthand uh, the uh, role that small donors have played, not only the record-breaking amounts that they gave to the campaign, but the small donor philosophy that informed our grassroots efforts really affected everything that we did, was such a pronounced part of um, such a pronounced part of our culture. I, we've had an unprecedented um, uh, focus on transparency in the first 100 days plus in the White House, because making government transparent um, through doing things like uh, being the first administration ever to make the personal financial disclosures of every senior White House staffer available electronically uh, in PDF form, by email, everybody who wanted them got them within two hours. Um, the, uh, uh, that kind of transparency enables the American people to see how government is functioning. And then finally, we've used communication tools to invite the American people into the White House through, th through events like the Health Care Summit, which were televised on the Internet, and broad participation by all Americans, uh, the ability to to be a part of events in the White House. Uh, so, uh, so those are some of the ways in which we've taken the philosophy of the small donor revolution, carried them over to government. I mean, look, the reality uh, of it is uh, that the small donors now make a difference. So you have a kind of what you had in the uh, Obama campaign through banning lobbyist money, through banning PAC money, and through having uh, this deep, profound engagement by small donors uh, is uh, a kind of uh, organic uh, reform that is taking place. And obviously it makes, you know, it is a significant, uh, significant change in the, in the context in which uh, campaign finance reform issues are considered.